Hey folks, Stefan Kleischnick from the Clarion Ledger here coming to you from Brian Denny Stadium. As you can tell over my shoulder, where Mississippi State just lost a 30 to six in a tough game against Alabama game where Mississippi State made a lot of mistakes, especially on offense, dropped passes, had a muff punt. Uh, there were opportunities for Mississippi State to pull off a really big upset or at least make this a close game. And the team really didn't take advantage, especially as it came offensively and the struggles offensively against you know Nick Saban and this Alabama team since Mike Leach came to Mississippi State continue. But that wasn't the story tonight. The story was the week that Mississippi State had and, and the death of Sam West, uh, Westmoreland, a freshman offensive lineman from, from Tupelo. He's a walk-on on the team. You know, his death Wednesday kind of shocked the team. It, it was a sudden death. Um, you know, the, the team had to go through, you know, practice and, and preparations for this game while, you know, dealing with what Austin Williams called something that no team ever wants to deal with. There's no, you know, blueprint for how you deal with something like this. Um, Mississippi State, just by showing up to this field at Brian Denny Stadium and, and putting up a fight, you know, offered a bit of a perspective for everyone that, that watches college football and, and understands, you know, these teams, a lot of coaches talk about they want to create a culture that, you know, feels like a family when, when you're at, you know, a certain program. Obviously, Mike Leach and his staff kind of, you know, try to do that at Mississippi State. You hear it a lot, but, but to these players, it, it really is real. Uh, they, they feel it. Jet Johnson, who's a Tupelo native himself, referred to Sam. Uh, as a brother, that, that's how these guys feel, and, and that's how tough you know you could tell by the emotions of Austin Williams and Jed Johnson and Mike Leach talking about you know Westmoreland's death post game. Uh, that this was something that that weighed on them through the week, and they felt the best way to respond was to show up at practice and, and continue battling and come to um, Tuscaloosa here for a game. So the, the result isn't what Mississippi State or its fans hope for, um, but you kind of hope that in this process that you know people who like college football, people like me who watch college football routinely, people like you who care about Mississippi State or care about college football, you kind of get a perspective uh, into what it's like inside these locker rooms, how close these guys get, um, and in turn you see how devastating a blow like this can be to a team. But Mississippi State put up a battle, uh, showed up, and now goes into its bye week uh, with the home stretch of the season coming up outside of the bye week, November 5th, back at Starkville for a three-game homestand starting against Auburn, then playing against Georgia, East Tennessee State before the Egg Bowl. And right before you see it, uh, we're going to have the, the regular season winding down here soon enough. So until then, make sure you keep up with our coverage at the Clarion Ledger.